What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer playthrough. Let's instruct. All right, who to work with? He's already at Dark Knight. Already at Mortal Savant. Already there. Already there. Kind of working with whoever isn't where I want them to be necessarily. Um, yeah, her bow and horse riding are both at about the same level. Keep working on it. Caspar, let's work on your brawling. That yeah, already a dark flyer, already there. Heist. Here we go, let's get him to a C in that level and a little bit extra on his sword ability. This. This. Oh, we'll get you there, Ash. We'll get you there. Um, what we'll to work with you on? Well. Hey. I, thought... I see how this. Here we go. All right. What? All that focus into his magic. Ba -ba -ba. Chi. Yeah. Oh, what? Really? There's a rank past S? Is it like S plus or something? Jeez. For some reason, I was thinking S was the highest. Um, as far as Mercedes goes. She's still a priest, even though I want her to become a holy knight. Professor. Try and level her up into a... Um, I, I tried turning her into a, a war clair, a war monk or whatever. Really hard, because her strength growths... Strength growths suck. There we go. I'm trying to enunciate the words. Um, what was I saying about... Oh, right, Mercedes. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still stuck at uh, an intermediate class with her. I still, I'm, I really need to work on getting her ranked up. It is done. Now. Okay. Some things you can't learn in a book. I'm a quick study. I understand. Yeah, Lance Prowess, Lance Prowess, Nosferatu. Okay. So if you're hearing the cat in the background, I'm sorry. He's freaking out. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's doing cat things. Um, certifications. Um, uh, Mercedes, how close? Is she closer to becoming a paladin than she is an actual bishop? Yeah, she's actually close to becoming a paladin. Um, yeah, that's fine. Ash, yeah, you're not ready to become a paladin. No, nowhere close. Um, do, 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 do. Anything else I can do? I think Ingrid is... Where is she? Wrong button. Close is she to becoming a 91% chance to become a Falcon Knight? Um, yeah, I'll I'll invest. Boop boo, boop boop boo. Where is it, Master Seal? Watch, I'm I'm gonna invest in this 91%. And she's still gonna she's gonna miss. Ah, where the hell are you? There you are. There we go. I must continue. Okay, um, what is the plan here? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. 
um, paralog. I'm trying to think exactly how I want to do this. I am actually going to do an auxiliary battle first and then do the paralog. Um, that way, so at the end, we can do the... Um, what was it? We can do the instruction on the 20th, go through that week. I can close things out on the 26th, and I can do those battles off camera that I'm going to do just for levels or whatever. And then in the next video, we can hop in to the main mission on the 30th. How's that sound? There we go. I've got the, I've got the plan. Very interesting. Oh, Teach. How long have you been there? Don't sneak up on me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Anyway, I'm reading the official biography of the Four Saints, as sanctioned by the Church. I know you're not very familiar with the teachings of Seros, but even you must have read it at least once. Tell me again, how exactly did you manage to get a job teaching at an academy run by the church? Well, whether you've read the biography or not, the Four Saints must at least ring a bell, right? Well then, I've got a little quiz for you. Name the Four Saints, companions of the great Saint Seros. I'll give you a hint. There was Keyhole, Sethleen, Indec, and... Who was the fourth one again? Correct. I was hoping you'd know that much, at least. In any case, you can learn some interesting things reading about the life and times of Saint Macuil. For instance, he was more skilled with his hands than his fellow saints, and even became an accomplished blacksmith. He used his skills to forge countless sacred weapons for the army of Saros. Of course, he didn't just forge the weapons, he also used them in battle himself. Legends say his strength was second only to Saros. It's even said that he played a big role in the Battle of Teltin, where Seros fought Nemesis, the King of Liberation, who became the King of Evil. Machuel lost his life in that battle, and now his body rests in a coffin within the Holy Mausoleum. Or so one story goes. Another legend says he set off on a journey to find a new land. That he left Fodlan from the east, crossed the sea, and vanished. He must have left Alliance territory, but where exactly would he have set sail from, I wonder? Thinking about it reminds me of another interesting story concerning the Strang region. The peninsula is attached to the mainland of Fodlan and extends from the northeastern part of Kingdom territory. If you were to set sail from Margrave Edmund's territory, you could cut across a stretch of sea and land there. And it just so happens that in the Strang region, there are ruins built to worship a sacred beast that appeared from across the sea. If the ruins have something to do with St. Macuil, there could be sacred weapons there. So, have I piqued your interest, or what? You always have to play it cool, don't you? Just think of how useful it would be to have weapons like that. Not to mention that the peninsula would be pretty easy to get to about now, seeing as how Alliance territory has settled down a bit. We'd be there and back in no time. No one would even notice we were gone. Come on, Teach. Let's go to the Srang region. I always see it through once I set my mind on something. Let's make the necessary preparations before I die of curiosity. All right, let's do this. There are the ruins. It looks like we're not going to have the luxury of an excavation. Look, I bet those are the watchmen of the ruins, and that they've been ordered to keep out intruders. By who? Beast? I hear they call it the Wind Caller. Defeating me, can you claim the secret treasure? Okay. Yeah, it speaks. What? It well, it's the same as the giant turtle guy. Uh, who are you? Just here for a bit of treasure. Don't attack me. Someone got here first. Must be a band of looters. We can't let them get the treasure. Guess their luck's about to run out. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, like I'm not gonna go attack them. What's he got, by the way? Eh, an elixir? That's not a bad pickup. 
Yeah, some dragons, mages, giant worms. This is going to be fun. Uh, reduces damage by 70% while intact. Remove it to inflict armor break. Jesus. Oh, great. So he can't... Uh, oh, that's his barrier ability. Okay. Makes critical hits against him impossible. 30. Avoid against sword, lance, and axe. Alright, well, this will be fun. God damn it, I hate those stupid worms. Ready when you are. Pull her back a little bit. Duck like that. Sunshine. I'm gonna pull What's back just a tad. Um, you know what? Equip your axe. I gotta be careful with how much my, uh... Be, I've gotta start being careful with some of my weapon durability. Let's clean up. Seeing as a lot of my weapons are starting to break and I don't have anything to fix them up. From the looks of it, I'm not gonna have any... Uh, I'm not gonna have a chance to repair anything until... next month. You're not trying to take his treasure. If I don't get this treasure back, the boss is gonna. Okay. Oh, cool. He's got a rapier. I would like that. I like those weapons. Huh? Are you looting too? Eh, killer bow. Eh, cool. Not as interesting, but still cool. Where are they running somewhere? Like, do they have an escape? Uh, yeah, pure water, rusted lance, actually. And yeah, forging a brave lance. And yeah, again, he's got a killer bow, so ups crits. Sadly, the killer bow looks really stupid in this game. All right, how to do this? Kind of. Trying to draw the draw the monster out. Move like that. how I want to do this. Okay, I'll fly there. Use the mini bow. No, that still doesn't work, because that still doesn't... I, I'm sorry, I was trying to work uh, work that out in a way where I'd get um, support with Ingrid, but it still didn't work, because I'm not smart. Alright, we'll move like that for now. Hold position again. Just trying to draw out that worm so I can move about, move about freely. that it's up, I can actually attack it, although I gotta be a little smart with this. I wanna do what I can to hold on to my battalions. Um, At your service. 
Pop her there. Not a lot of damage, but I want to, yeah, give her any little boost I can in white magic. Steady now. Come on, you can't crit. He has great crit chances, but just cannot land a single one. getting there. I know I'm doing this really slowly. It's like I said, I'm just trying to, uh, just trying to keep my, uh, my weapon durabilities as high as I can for now. I'll come over. Not happy about that attack. After all the trouble we went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all happy that you got your treasure. Well, that sucks, because that was about the one that I actually wanted. Fighting, blah blah blah. All right. Now we can probably pretty easily take this guy down. I'm just gonna send Byleth one health bar down. Just nice and easy like that. is dire. Now move like that. Steel bow. God damn it, can somebody get a kill here? Sadly. There we go. Still alive. Dodge, good second attack. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just hit with fire twice. I 
might have made a slight boo-boo. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's kind of taking a shot with that one. I fought and won. Are these defenders of the tomb? Are these like those shadow guards or whatever that we see every other time we fought? Children of the Goddess. Oh, okay, yeah, Phantom Soldier. Okay. I was like, man, why do. Um, well, I, was, I was trying to think when um, Claude kind of laid out the, the mission parameters or however you want to say it. At the begin, at the very beginning, he, you know, he said something along the lines that there were. Um... Oh come on, the, the people guarding the tomb or whatever. I'm just sitting there going, really? There's, um, you know, people who are still, you know, people who are just chilling here guarding a tomb for no real reason. I mean, I guess it could be an important cultural site or whatever, but, you know, during a war or whatever, it just, I don't know. It seemed odd to me. <laughs> See, that's the second weapon I want. I want to get that tomahawk. That kind of sucks for her. Those guys, I'm not worried about at the moment. As you wish. <laughs> I don't know why they found that tumbleweed rolling across the background really funny. Go, a couple fireballs, take out the crawler. Get the level, not bad. Okay, of course I'm I'm not playing you with in a uh, in a strength based class, and what do you do? You get uh, you get strength bump. The strength bumps. I can't I can't speak, guys. It's it's really becoming a problem. is go keep them together drop the heel a 
I do this for all of us. I'm awake. So sorry. Go heal up over there. Steady now. Just keep holding position. Let those guys come out to us. And he's gonna miss because he sucks. Weird decision to go after a uh, a Pegasus-based unit with a with a magic attack like that, but meh, whatever. Also, a weird choice of target, but whatever. Nah, I shouldn't need to use that. What's my strategy? Hmm. Eh, let's go with a normal fireball. This could turn the tides. The situation is dire. Sucks, but what can you do? I, I feel weak. At the ready. Yeah, come in and uh, come in and try it, buddy. See what happens to you. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. It's gonna get me a kill. Again, man, he has such high crit chances and never hits crits. I'm your girl. Aye, aye. It's one of those I'd be impressed if it didn't piss me off so much. Doesn't she have? Doesn't she have Thoron or? Oh no, huh? I thought she had some range three magic. Heal. It's been a pretty by the books kind of mission. Minus the giant griffin thing. Holy hell, he hits hard. Those thieves. The treasure. Yeah, you know what? A lot of that treasure really didn't impress me. Oh, great reinforcements. Ready when you are. Thank God I had a follow-up. I'm like, are you kidding me? I missed that. A tragic end. 
Alright, let's start moving in. Really? Amazing. Really? Okay. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Anyone can't tell I'm a little annoyed at, at Ignatz for uh, hitting that crit. <laughs> Frankly, it's because I'm trying to um I forgot I was trying to bond him and Hilda. Just because I like that weird pairing. But, uh, yeah, I was going to try and get them uh, get them some support there. Didn't work out. Oh, thanks Fine, just got weak heal anyways. Might as well get him back up to full. Some of the nets. All right, let's start converging on the uh, on the main enemy. My joke of a life and he dies. dies. I get a tomahawk, which is very nice for me. Have all this fun running across the uh, running across the sands. What is his range? Jesus Christ! Is it four tiles. Jeez, it is four flipping tiles. She doesn't have to be as close. Good kill, Bernadetta. And more units. Fantastic. That's what that's that's what we I can't fucking speak. That's what we need. There we go. Hit him almost dead center. The grandson of the grandson of the grandson of the elite reader. <laughs> Tell me who you are. I am your family's enemy. If you carry the blood of the ten elites, you cannot be permitted to live. What do you mean by that? And what's that crest on your forehead? No more talk. If you wish to survive, you must destroy me. Pull out all the stops. I like uh, I like Claude's response to that. I'm the grandson of the grandson of the grandson of the grandson of. It's just such a him response. That Ingrid up to level 34. Yeah, he doesn't get stunned. Which could pose a small issue. That's fine. Go after uh go after Shamir. Not trying to kinda like throw and not trying to sh I, I can't I can't form words today. I, I've I've done three or four videos today. I just I I cannot flip and speak. Hmm. Those who stand before me, how long has it been? Hundreds of years. 
thousands. You have the stink of Sophis upon you. Let us find out whether you share her power. What, can I not use magic right now after that attack? Oh, that's fun. What was I saying? Oh, right, if that, um... If that, um... Come on, brain. this one. Um, if that Wyvern Rider is going to go after anyone, I'd rather be Shamir, seeing that she's got a bow, good dodge. She should be able to tank it. Let me help you. Let's catch them off guard. Oh, shit. I did not realize that was a 10. I totally misread what the chance for that to hit was. Shall we? Do something here. Use impregnable wall. So that no matter what, he's only gonna take, I think, one damage. Yeah. Sunshine. Aye, aye. I'm awake. I'm your girl. Let's actually get our units in here. I do this for all of us. And just keep using the bow, why not? Good, huh? Worst comes to worst, I can always buy a new one. And... Going for the kill. Oh, thank God she critted. The Otherwise, uh, I <laughs> he made a mistake. Alright, alright, that's fine. We're actually in a pretty good position, all things considered. Because now... I hit that. You could have dodged one of those. Just saying. Steady now. And that's the problem. I gotta find somebody who can make this... Who can land this hit and not die. There we go. Broke his armor. His magic just doesn't, just doesn't do crap to this guy. Having magic based gambits. Stay vigilant. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's got, um, Hunter's Volley, although, yeah, at this point, it's unnecessary. Hunter's Volley, I think it's. It said it was a move exclusive to the sniper class, it was like a personal combat art. I'm not really sure. I've never really seen one of those. I'm good now. Maybe it's because I've never mastered a sniper cl uh, character with a sniper class, or maybe it. Uh, I'm trying to think here. 
Maybe it's because I never mastered anyone with the sniper class, or maybe it was uh, related to um, getting S rank and bow, but I don't think that's what it was. That was not smart. Well, maybe not smart is correct. That was a misclick. Steady now. I'm your girl. Ready when you are. At the ready. Go, we're just gonna keep hammering them. Gambit. And of course, I don't have like a monster piercer or anything like that. Nice, uh, nice dodge there, Ingrid. That's what I'm trying to say. I must. You get it, it's a joke because she didn't dodge at all. I'm awake. Let's clean up. I do have a monster blast. Sadly, it would not give me a kill. Really do anything for that matter. Oh, thank you, Hilda. Oh, thank you so freaking much. God. Who wants the kill? Nah, you know what? Anna needs the level. Almost got two. All in a day's work. Couldn't get strength or magic. It stopped moving. Is it dead? No. It seems it's just sleeping. I thought we were supposed to be given the treasure, but... Uh, forget it. I'll just have a look around there. What about this thing? Huh. I'll think about it later. I, I love his response to that. and Just, huh. Ah, alright. I'll keep it. Renown increased. All that good stuff. Thanks for all your hard work, Teach. Sorry for dragging you along with me. I had no idea it would turn into a fight. But hey, at least we got some treasure out of it. I'll leave this in your capable hands. Do with it as you will. How would we do that? More importantly, I didn't go there looking for treasure. Not really. Legends about the saints abound. It's hard to tell fact from fiction. I like to confirm whatever I can, with my own eyes, to find the truth in those legends. Not a thing. We didn't find anything concrete to prove that St. Macuil had been there. 
We can't say for certain that the treasure we found was Macuel's either. I do wish we could have spoken to that wind caller a bit more. <laughs> Unlikely. Macuel lived thousands of years ago, and I've never heard anything about the saints being monsters like that. What about Rhea? Or the giant turtle thing we fought? Wait a minute. Could the wind caller have anything to do with the immaculate one? Ding 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 ding. The one is a monster sent by the goddess. Could the wind caller be? Where was it that I heard that stuff about them having been sent by the goddess? <sighs> Maybe I'm too tired. My head is heavy. I can't think straight anymore. Let's call it a day for now. I've got plenty of time to think this over. And the sword of Begalta. Am I reading that correctly? Nah. Might uh, I'll probably give that over to uh, to Felix. See, he's my primary kind of sword character. We'll just sit here and just watch a screen load. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do uh, instructions. Um, it's kind of why I saved that paralogue for you know the last thing that I was gonna do on that week. So now we can instruct, and I can do some um, some of the backed up supports that we have. Okay, who can I even instruct this week? It's a real group of misfits this week. Alright, we'll start with you, Claude. Why not? Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep you on what you're, uh, what you're currently doing. Seeing that you don't get a, <clears throat> excuse me, voice cracked. You don't get a boost from on flying, might as well help you on that. Um, you're pretty set. <laughs> See if we can get you closer to boosting in Lance, Ignatz. Um, Lysithia. Don't Persevere. There you go. She's A in both uh, reason and faith magic now. I was wondering, have I worked with a net? I can't remember the last time I did that. I'm still working on this magic, Ingrid. It's my current. Yeah, he's a bees across the board. Let's start working a little bit with our buddy Balthus. Mostly because I want to get his. You make it. Ah man, I want to get his authority to the next level so he can. Uh... Trying to think here. Want to get his authority to the next level so he could um, get his special battalion. There we go. From his paralogue. Come on. You can do it, game. Or, you know, not just sit in a load screen. God damn it. I my patience for load screens is really just dropping. Cause I used to not mind them as much as I do now, but Yeah, something about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting angry as an old man. I've got the gist of it now. I'll try to put this to you. Let's put this to the yeah, Healing focus, Nosferatu, dexterity. I suppose. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not using you guys. Alright. Um real quick. Appreciate it. 
Let's see here. Is he ready to, uh... Ah, 68. I'd like to get one more level in writing before I use a, another Master Seal. On him. Yeah, she's fine. Hilda... Is at a 67 again. Just want a little bit more before I work anything else. Leone. Yeah, and a lot of people getting really close. Ferdinand. Yeah, still nowhere, nowhere near. Our buddy Linhart. Well, we're we're gonna get you there, man. Someday. What's his chance to become a... At least become a bishop. 73? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Just trying to decide... We want to try and advance right now. Yeah, still, she's closer to becoming a paladin than... You know, 43% chance than what's her 27 to become a bishop. It's really funny to me. Um, what's Annette's chance to... Because I know I've got a few people who I was going to do one thing with, and then I might do a couple advanced um, tests. Yeah, I think those are actually the two I'm going to do. Screw it. I think we're I think we're close enough. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if he can become a war master. And he made it. Oh yeah. Alright, he made that. Um Linhart. Oops. There we go. Just so he gets a little bit of a stat boost. Let's turn him into a... Or I guess try to turn him into a bishop. Look. And finally... Annette. Try to turn you into a warlock. There we go. All right. Well, like I said, I'm going to do some supports, um, and then I'm just going to do battles, or just some non-important battles uh, this week, and then in the next video, we will start the main mission for this month. I want to say, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name is AJ Gills. This is on the Game Channel. I'm out. Hi, Ingrid. That was a great training session today, wasn't it? It was indeed, Claude. It's so nice to see you. Things have been pretty busy lately, though. I hope you're taking the time to rest whenever you have the chance. I thank you for the concern. You are ever so kind. I've finally got a free day tomorrow, so I was planning to sleep through the morning and laze around all day. That sounds so lovely. Perhaps I should do the same. Ingrid, will you just stop it already? You still doing that shtick? Whatever do you mean? Are you feeling all right? You're acting so demure. It's kind of creeping me out. Ugh, you can't be serious. I always knew you were a layabout, but I see now you're also an insensitive nitwit too. If I lecture you, you complain. If I act pleasant, you also complain. Ah, you switched back. Please. Tell me how to behave. At least if you're commandeering my behavior, I'll get less of an earful of your complaints. Have you ever even once considered thinking before you speak? And you wonder why people so rarely trust you. Ah, right. I'm sorry, I guess that was kind of insensitive. Wow, 
quite the apology. Sounds a lot like one of your myriad excuses. Do you really expect empty apologies to help you get your way? I'm suddenly feeling dizzy. Oh, so dizzy. We'll have to talk about this later. There you go again. You and your excuses. <sighs> I thought if I made extra efforts to be pleasant, he and I might finally interact without bickering. I just don't know what the best approach is with him. There is no best approach. Were you listening to everything I just said? Ugh. I thought you'd run off. I told you before, didn't I? You're better off as your normal, prickly self. I don't mind getting lectured by you, so keep on doing that from time to time, okay? Just maybe not all of the time. Anyway, oh, the dizziness. Bye. <laughs> as if an occasional lecture could ever cut it. Ugh, where is it? Oh, hello there, Ignatz. Yes, hello, Hilda. What's the matter? Oh, it's just that I'm looking for a book. I can't seem to find it anywhere. I think it might be on one of the high shelves. Could you give me a hand? Ah, uh, um, I'm really sorry, but actually... Hmm? Some people got hurt while training in magic. I'm rushing to grab some medical supplies. Whoa, that sounds serious. Don't let me stop you in that case. Thanks. I'll be right back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, what was the book you were looking for? Is everyone okay? Yes, it turned out to just be some scrapes and bruises. Oh, is that the book? Yes, I went and grabbed a ladder. That made the book much easier to find. Ah, uh, huh. You could have just asked someone else for their help. Well, you said people were hurt, so I just figured everyone had more important things to do. Honestly, I don't love heights. It was a bit scary up there, but here we are. I managed. I see. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help. Why are you apologizing, silly? Surely first aid is more important. I thought you might wait for me to come back, that's all. Oh, but giving first aid, that's not an easy job. I figured you'd be worn out. The last thing I want is to push you too hard. That's thoughtful of you, Hilda. Thanks for watching out for me. Oh, don't mention it. Do my cleaning again and we'll call it even. You did such a lovely job last time. The floor was practically sparkling. I swear the air even tasted cleaner. I'm glad you liked it. You're really good at giving compliments, you know that? I suppose that's why everyone's so eager to help you with things. Exactly. By heaping praise on people, they're more eager to help me in the future. Oh, but that's not what's happening here. I was really, truly impressed by your cleaning skills. I wish I had everything figured out like you. Good day, Ignatz. So, painting again? Ingrid. Yes, I'm painting St. Saros again. Look, I'm really sorry about the last time. It's my fault it turned out so, well, different. No, no need to apologize. I appreciated the fresh input. It made me think. That's kind of you to say, but no need to pull punches. It's the truth. I'm so caught up in my own mind, I'd never have thought to try that. Ignatz, I appreciate your attitude, but... Yes? There are times when it's okay to feel upset or angry. If you're feeling that way, it's always best to be honest. But... But... I understand the weight of what I did. I besmirched a sacred image, and it was a painting you were pouring your heart into. I got carried away, but I'd prefer if you had told me then and there that my request was uncalled for. I'm not angry. I could never get angry with you. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I'm the one apologizing. Oh, sorry. 
Stop saying sorry! <sighs> Never mind. Forgive me. I came here to apologize, and now I'm being sharp with you. Don't worry. It's my fault, really. I'm not very good at expressing myself. I never intended to be such a bother. I think I'll leave you to it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hey, Hilda. You said you wanted to talk? Whoa. What's with all these expensive necklaces? Why do you have them all laid out like that? Pretty, right? I'll let you choose whichever you like. Huh? Why would you do that? Just choose. I want you to have one. I'm not going to accept a gift like that without a reason. Even with a reason, I'd probably decline. Look how gorgeous they are, though. Wearing beautiful things gives you energy. Maybe for you. Yes, for me. Why would it be any different for you? Because to me, those are just fancy decorations. Take this one, for example. How did you come by it? This was the first necklace I picked out for myself. It doesn't suit my style nowadays, so I don't often wear it. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. The sentimental value of each one. These necklaces are nice and all, but I don't have any special feelings or memories about any of them. But this charm, it's packed with things I don't want to forget. Captain Gerald's teachings and a lot of memories, too. Even if, to you, it's just a dirty hunk of wood. Hmm, I do understand. But still, you're not going to be very popular with the boys if you keep wearing that dirty old thing. <laughs> like I care about that. You can drop the whole stony face to act. Come on, I'm offering to help you here. I could even make a charm for you as a gift, if you're really hung up on sentimental value. Make a charm for me? You do that? Sure, why not? I don't want you to be alone your whole life. Besides, this happens to be a talent of mine. It'll be really, really cute, so you'd better wear it. Sure. I can't just accept a gift for nothing, though. I'll make one for you, too, if you'll teach me how. And I'll put plenty of feeling into it, so when we exchange them, it will really mean something. Oh, that sounds lovely. I'll gladly teach you how, but make me something cute, okay? I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Just look at this place. It's so beautiful, I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. Unacceptable. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from a constitution that tires easily. Hmm. <laughs> Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. The righteous path of the noble lies before you. You're always giving it your all, aren't you? Yes, I am. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking, next to you, I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Indeed. I went for a ride earlier today. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. Hmm? Where are you going? Oh, I must get some sleep, being the infant that I am. Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among nobles. Noble among nobles? Seems a bit much. 
Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! <sighs> I guess taking them all up in one go is a bad idea. Annette? Are you okay with all those boxes? Linhart! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. I don't know if I'll be able to handle all these. I thought I may as well get it over with, so I decided to carry them all at once. Big mistake. Smart thinking. Do it all at once. That's what they say, right? Work smart, not hard. I think you've got it from here, so I'm off to take a nap. Good luck. But maybe you could help. Nope. Gone. It's fine. It is fine. Just a little further to my quarters. I've got this. I'll just... Just... Ah! Huh? They didn't fall. That was almost pretty bad. Uh, Linhart, I thought you had an important nap to get to. I'd call it insomnia, but I suppose it was really just a guilty conscience. I came to see if you needed help. And, sure enough, here you are, about to tip all the boxes on the floor. Thanks. Though it may have been best if you had just chipped in from the start. Huh? But it was your job. Why would I step in? You clearly had things handled. Then why help me at all? If the boxes had fallen just now, everyone would have had to help tidy them up anyway. If anything broke, more boxes would need to be carried. And if all of that came to pass, then there'd be noise and more noise and no chance of my taking a nap. Huh. But if you had helped me from the start, there would have been no danger of anything being dropped at all. Correct. But there was no danger yet, and so there was no need for my help. So I left you to it. But try carrying one box at a time instead of straining to do it all at once. Work smart, not hard, as they say. All right, well, I think you've got it from here, so I'm off. Good luck. <laughs> After all that, he's not going to help me. What's that noise? <laughs> Sounds like someone's having fun. Maybe it's coming from the greenhouse. That was really fun, Bernie. Good thing I found such an out-of-the-way spot to play. Only the pretty flowers hurt me here. Isn't that right, little flower? You're the only one who heard, aren't you? What did you think? That was amazing! <laughs> Why is your voice so deep? What? I'm no flower. Oh no. Raphael, you heard it all, didn't you? I did! What kind of instrument was that? I could hear it all the way over at the training grounds. It was great. I didn't know you could play. All the way from the training grounds? Oh. That's right. Then I came here to tell you how good you sounded. Good. No. No, I'm on to you. First, you flatter me. Then you get me to perform on stage in front of everyone to humiliate me! Uh... No? But that's a great idea. Everyone should be able to hear your music. Ah, I knew it! Monster! I won't fall victim to your schemes! I don't know what just happened, but I think I might have scared her. Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Um, uh, what? I didn't do anything! No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are. I can tell. Just get it over with. What did I do? You did not do anything wrong. Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Can't breathe? Too scared! I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. <gasps> Easy for you to say? 
I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding in your room. It seems like something must be troubling you for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. See, I'm breathing out. You fixed me. Can I go? Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Just stop it! I'm not interested! Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand, otherwise I will have to pick you up and carry you and neither of us will... What if I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business! Get lost! Ugh. I sprayed my wrist. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No, I'm done for. You'll be the death of me for sure. Maybe I should just come back later. chase me. Maybe if I just hold really, really still. <sighs> Ahem. <sighs> Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. Unless I'm offending you just by standing here. No, here. I believe this is yours. That's my satchel. Wait, where did you get that? Stop asking questions and just take it. No! Trap! It's a trap! Why are you acting like this? Acting? Does this terror on my face look fake to you? You're being difficult. Come on, this is yours. I can't! Your icy glare has frozen me completely! Shut up, just take the thing. No! Please don't kill me! What? Who's going to... Sword! He's got a sword! Ah! My sword! How did you... I can't do this anymore! What an odd girl. But she's certainly caught my attention. I've never seen that technique before. No, oh, I still have to give this back to her. Ferdinand? Our professor is wanting to see you. Hmm. Uh, he has much concentration right now. I will wait for him to be finished reading. Diplomacy has an effect upon weapons development. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, Petra! How long have you been there? A short time. You were devoting all of your attention to that book. Forgive me, I was fully absorbed in my reading. I see you have been reading as well. Anything interesting? I am studying the history of Fodlin. A history book? What a keen student you are. And it's about House Hressfeld. Certainly a stimulating topic. I am wishing to learn all about Fodlin. What is the book you are reading? Oh, this? This relates to a little hobby of mine. The regional history of weapons development in Fodlin. Militaries have to adapt their weapons according to terrain and climate. And they have to keep up with technologies in other regions. It's very interesting. Yes, it is interesting. I see why you would be enjoying that kind of reading. Oh, does that excite your curiosity too? Perhaps you would care to read more about it then. This is just one of 18 volumes, and our library has the entire collection. I give you my gratitude. 
Research of weapons could be a good reference for me. Oh, please take my apologies. I was meaning to tell you that our professor is wanting to see you. Oh, it is not like you to forget something. I suppose I ought to be going then. Yes, it is a rarity that I forget something. But it is not impossible. All right, time for some more... Oh, Petra. Hi. Kaspar, do you want to train with each other? Uh, yeah, sure. You have had new training recently, and great improvements. I want great improvement, too. Will you give me help? Well, hey, look at that. You pay more attention than I gave you credit for. I have been trying new training methods. They're definitely paying off. My movements are much sharper lately, more precise. I am knowing that. I want that too. You teach, I learn. We both get more strength. It will be greatness. All right. I mean, I guess we can give it a shot. Um, Petra? Yes, Kaspar? Um, no, uh, never mind. Sorry. I was just thinking about something else. Nothing at all. Let's train. I heard a question in your voice. Say it. No, no, no. It's really nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. I will not be worrying. Can we begin the training? Ah, fine. We can talk about it if you insist. You can stop pretending like you don't know. What am I knowing? About my father. Your father? He is of the military in the Empire. I hear he has great skill. No, not that. Well, it's kind of about that. I'm talking about when Dagda and Bridget invaded the Empire. My father led the Empire's army that fended off the invaders. Your father was in that battle. Did you really not know? My father killed yours. You... How long have you had this knowing? I just found out recently. I had no idea before then. But it's all I've been able to think about since. So, now you have the truth. Petra? <sighs> Damn it. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> you, Petra. You're not finding anything difficult, right? You seem to have settled right in. I am settled. Everyone shows great kindness. I'm glad to hear it. I was so surprised when you first arrived. A princess all the way from Bridget. You have my gratitude. But please do not call me princess. You are making my cheeks blush. There's nothing to blush about. You're every little girl's dream of what a princess should be. Anyhow, I suppose you can't return to Bridget anytime soon, can you? I hope you aren't homesick. Maybe we can cook one of your favorite dishes from back home. I do wish for that, but there is no possibility. The ingredients are not found here. I suppose you're right. That's probably why they don't cook the food of Bridget in the dining hall. I'm sorry. I just got to thinking about how hard it must be to live somewhere so far away from home and... No. It can't be impossible. I'll fix you a real meal of Bridget. I'll just find a recipe and similar ingredients. Wait, Dorothea. It is the thinking that counts. But your cooking is... What is the word? Horrendous. That is what everyone is saying, anyway. Horrendous? Nobody's cooking can be that bad. The thinking is enough for me. You have my biggest gratitude. Fine, I'll do something instead of cooking for you. I just want to be sure that you feel at home here. How about a massage? That may help you loosen up. I have no problems. My body is already able to relax. Oh? Then perhaps I could sing you lullabies to help you sleep. I'm not having sleeping trouble. Just know that you never have to worry about putting me out. I like helping my friends. Well then, I must be going, but... Remember my offer. Dorothea is filling my heart full. 